In April of 2011, Japan was shaken by an earthquake and subsequent tsunami. As a result, mass failures at the Fukushima nuclear plant resulted in the release of dangerous radiation. A significant danger of radiation is that it is not only experienced locally, but can spread significant distances. Within 48 hours of the event at Fukushima nuclear plant, radioactive material was detected over 8,000 kilometres away in the San Francisco Bay area. When exposed to certain levels of this radiation measured in units called RADS, the human body can develop acute radiation syndrome. Although it is called acute radiation syndrome, it is actually the name given to three different clinical syndromes that involve the depletion of stem cells. Bone marrow syndrome affects the bones after 30 rads of exposure. Gastrointestinal syndrome affects the stomach after 400 rads. And neurovascular syndrome affects the brain at 2,000 rads and above. This video demonstrates and explains what happens to the body during this process. Bone marrow syndrome involves the reduction of the stem cell's ability to produce new red and white blood cells as well as platelets. This causes lowered immunity and can cause organs to bleed out. Gastrointestinal syndrome occurs when the radiation destroys the cells of the intestinal lining, which allow the absorption of nutrients and protect from damage. This results in bleeding of the gut, blood clots and malnutrition. Finally, symptoms of neurovascular syndrome include vomiting, extreme nervousness and diarrhoea. Ultimately, neurovascular syndrome shuts down major organs such as the heart and brain. Exposure to this level of radiation is lethal and can result in death within three days. Over the last century, hundreds of thousands of people have been affected by radiation exposure. Thousands have died. The Chernobyl disaster alone involved 4,000 fatalities. As the world looks to cleaner forms of energy production, such as nuclear power, it is important to understand the associated dangers and risks for humans and society.